Hi everyone, I am Beatriz Buarque, I am the Brazilian journalist who developed the project World Heal the World, and I'm here to talk to you about two words, youth and change. So, I have been working as a journalist for more than 10 years, and during my first years, I was, I, I had no idea about what was, uh, yeah. What was the difference between Shia and Sunni? Uh, what was Islam? I didn't know anything about it, and actually, I use I use it to avoid uh, topics regarding Middle East conflicts. But my mind changed completely when I traveled to Israel in 2015, and I realized the amount of content extremist groups have been producing and sharing on the internet. So I came back to Brazil, deeply concerned about it, and I started studying it. And doing an interview with a mother who lost her son due to radicalization, I decided to apply for a master's program. So last year I applied, and that's why I'm here now in the UK uh, doing a master's. So, I decided to, when I started studying that, I realized that as a journalist, I could make a difference in that. I could, do, I, I could effectively use words to help those institutions that were uh, working to prevent radicalization and also to raise awareness on this topic. So I developed a website where people can search for institutions that are using words to tackle extremism and radicalization because I realized that although we have many institutions doing this, they are somehow, uh, some of them, they are somehow visible on social media because they cannot afford a social media team. So I started to contribute with them in that sense thinking about strategies to social media, thinking about how we could write stories to shed light on their activities. So what started as a small website with only five organizations now has 17 all over the world. And afterwards, I decided to engage students to this. So I started training some Brazilian students to write stories about academic reports in a creative ways to strengthen ties between academia and the wider public. And I started training students here in the UK to deconstruct extremist messages. So what do they do? They write stories, they make videos to deconstruct some myths that lead to hate. For example, the myth that Islam is violent, the myth that refugees will to jobs, uh, the myth that Muslim women are oppressed by the hijab and therefore hijab should be banned because although some countries force women to wear hijabs, they do not represent the totality of the countries uh, where Muslims are, ma are majority. So we have been doing this and the main challenge during this work has been to inspire you. It has been really hard sometimes to show young people that they have the capability to make a positive impact on our society, on our society that they can effectively make a difference because we are dealing with a battle that is a battle, a battle for minds. Is it, a, is it, it is a battle of information and extremist groups have been very active on social media and we cannot accept that we cannot remain silent in a democratic society we need to raise our voice and that's what i'm trying to do i have been trying to empower you and to show them that they can make a difference so that's the biggest challenge and that's also the most rewarding rewarding part of the of my work because after, after assisting students and working with them, when they finish their piece and they realize that they did that, they are so happy and they are so uh, aware on their importance 
that they spread this news and they share this experience with their friends. And that's the main part of Words Heal the World. Because Words Heal is a project to empower you and to put you as main actors on radicalization prevention. And that's what we've been doing. And we are not limited to the UK or to Brazil. We want to embrace students from all over the world because social media nowadays enables us to do that. So if you want to make a difference, if you know how to use social media, if you have an event in your country that may shed light on extremism, on the signs of radicalization, uh, or if you have an exhibition that you would like to write a story, anything regarding this topic, you can contribute with us. So please share with us your ideas. We are, will be more than happy to receive it. Um, as a journalist, as a student, as a young person, my message to you is that you cannot remain silent. Uh, we are living in a difficult time because we have some very, very extremist messages uh, being shared among you in different parts of the world and far-right movements have been increasing, prejudice has been increasing, segregation has been increasing. We need to do something about it. We just cannot remain silent. And it's the, 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 the answer to that is on our hands. We just need to use our hands to write a message, to take a picture, to make a video and share. That's all we need to do. And if you, if you think you cannot contribute to that, you, just, you can just, uh, for example, like our Facebook page and share the content we've been producing because it is a project that is ruled and coordinated by students, for students. It, it's not something that was developed by a lecturer, a professor, or an authority, an authority. No, it is something made by you, for you because you is the main target of extremist groups. So join us in this movement, join us in this project. I hope you won't remain silent because as I said in the beginning, my video is about you and change. You can change the world. We can heal the world. Thank you.